Uh, take two minutes and read this question. This is from the reading specialist exam. I know it's a little challenging, but um, have fun with it and uh, read it now. Two minutes on your own involving syllabication, okay? On your own, go, two minutes. Okay, some teachers might think that I talk too much. If you're one of those teachers, um, that's okay. The answer is D, you can go to the next one. Let's go. Okay, <laughs> but if, you're, if you like the commentary, stick around because the commentary is where we get deeper into the content, right? Now, this is a harder question. Um, it's from that, that reading specialist exam. You could tell they, they mentioned reading specialists several times, right? Reading specialists, they'd like to mention that it's for a harder, more advanced teacher in reading development. But I think it's great because it has a lot of uh, review of ideas and the review is, is great. And you're going to notice that this one has that has like a, a beginning and middle and an end. It has that beginning, middle and end structure. So remember, like the beginning, that kind of tells us like what the idea is. So let's see. What are we dealing with today? Who's our friend? Well, we have a reading specialist working with a small group of second grade students. Let me circle second grade. Seven to eight years old. They're not fluent yet. Uh, what? And uh, who have recently mastered uh, reading regular closed syllable CBC, C, B, C, 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 B, C words. Okay. C, V, C, uh, uh, C, V, C, C, and uh, C, C, B, C words. And remember, closed syllable, that's when we have um, some type of uh, a vowel consonant where the vowel is short, right? It's a closed syllable. And it's always good when you see like this stuff on a test, uh, closed syllable words, and they give them right here. It's always good to like have a go-to. Like you see C, you see C, B, C, you're thinking cat. And you see C, B, C, C, you're thinking like, uh, um, let's say, um, uh, let's say, uh, uh, I wanna, I'm thinking of a word. I'm just going to write down the word uh, tank. Okay, we'll just go with that, right? Or, or you see a word like uh, C, C, B, C, you could do words like uh, um, blend. I, that's not, no, that's not a good one. Uh, uh, why am I having difficulty finding the word now, right? Uh, stick. Uh, 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 ever had that happen? There's so many ideas in your head uh, and you can't come up with one diagraph. Okay. Uh, step. Why did that take so long? Oh, I know the one I want to use. I want to use frog, right? Yes. Okay. So we have these words. We're for, these are all basic words, right? Could have used other words too. It also says, including words that contain an initial and final consonant diagraph and blend. Okay, so we could have done words like, this has a initial and end uh, blends. And we could have added in other words like ship and uh, um, um, I don't know, another word that has a diagraph at the end. Um, so team, you're familiar with these structures, all basic words, right? And they're all single syllable words too. Okay, so, so now that we have these basic words, okay, uh, that's part one. We're dealing with these, these very phonetically regular basic single syllable words, okay. Uh, the students can do this, fine. They've mastered it, fine. Next part, part two. The reading specialist would like to accelerate the student's progress towards reading grade level text by teaching them how to decode basic two syllable words. So we're looking for basic two syllable words. So we're gonna do a strategy to help them with two syllable words. But basic, you meaning um, we're gonna do easy two syllable words. And uh, it's then it says, third one, here's the question. Which of the following words would be the most appropriate? So the most basic, we're looking for the most basic two syllable word, right? And we have these options. Now, all these options, um, let me enlarge it. 
all these words here, um, basic two syllable words, um, you some of them you could, you know, decode using vowel, constant, constant, vowel, right? Uh, some of them would be a little harder, like the ones with clusters in them, like here and L, con and L control, like, and, 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 you know, cluster, big cluster here. Could you see that that might be tricky because it's got like three or more clusters, three or more consonants. So let's cross these out because constant clusters are kind of, clusters are, constant clusters can be really tricky for students. So that might be out. Okay, so these ones here for sure though, Chris, I see vowel, constant, constant, vowel, vowel, constant, constant, vowel, and the syllable break is there. So I don't get it. It's either, it could be C or, or, or D. Why does it have to, why does it have, why do I have to choose? Well, remember when we said when, when dealing with vowel, constant, constant, vowel, we said that we like the most basic ones are the ones where the vowel in the beginning is a closed syllable and it's short. And Mary, uh, it has that R controlled, okay? And it's actually Mary, it's actually irregular. It's not er, right? It's a, it's a little, it's a little tricky. It's not, it's not a, a, a short vowel sound, right? It's not a, eh, so a short vowel sound would be a. Eh. Right? It's not eh. It's and it's 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 a controlled R and it's a weird sound. And so for that reason, this is out and napkin is in because napkins has that, you know, uh napkin has that pattern, vowel, constant, constant, vowel with the cut there, and we're dealing with a short vowel, right? Boop, 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 boop. Did you like the review? It got us to D. We just had to take a little time to review all of those ideas. Okay, now, now team, this was a harder one for syllabication, right? There's a challenging one for, I knew it, you knew it, it was gonna be hard, right? Um, uh, the answer here is D, you get to review all this great content in doing, and all this, and, and guess what? All this great language that you could put in your essays too, okay? 